here, which is, and I nearly hit the microphone. Don't worry about the microphone, <laughs> it doesn't bite. <laughs> As you can see, the interest in angels is growing in this country. We've, you know, we all get taught the prayers when we're very young about your guardian yeah. angel, and yeah. then they kind of yeah. seem to fade into the background almost for people. But they're coming back. Why do you think all this interest is, is now coming? I think it's because the world has changed so much, and um, people, you know, are looking for more an answers. They're, they're hungry and thirsty. Everyone wants to know that, listen, I'm not just flesh and blood, I'm not just going to die and rot away in the ground and that's it. We really are searching for, for faith, regardless of, of our religion, that we have a soul and everyone has a soul. I've never seen anyone without a soul, but the most important thing as well is that every single human being, even everyone here in the studio, has a guardian angel. And that one angel mm. is a gift from God and it doesn't matter what religion you are and that angel never never leaves you because people have often said to me even when we're in the loo and I said of course even when you're in the loo mm. but they don't <laughs> look on us in the way we look on ourselves yeah you know and um, your guardian angel is the gatekeeper of your soul Orna, would you describe mm. yourself as somebody who is very religious and you said there it doesn't really matter what religion you are that yeah. every yeah. person has a guardian angel but would you be particularly re religious yourself no i don't think so mm. like i was brought up a catholic mm. like everybody i don't know what religion yourselves are more than likely catholic mm. but mm. Um, no different than an anyone else and i went to mass on sunday you know as a child and all mm. of that and um, i don't get to mass every sunday right. now as an adult mm -hmm. um, but when I do go to Mass, I really enjoy it. How I would you describe it. yourself then? Is it, a, is it a very difficult question to be able to well, actually yes. define what exactly the gift, I suppose, that you have? Um, I can't really define it for yeah. you. Well, um, why I've don't we ask you more questions then and we might yeah. get a sense of, of yeah. what it is that you do yeah. or how, okay. how we'd feel about it. You yeah. started seeing angels um, at a very young age. Did you know what they were at that stage? Well, I always say, I start seeing angels from the moment I open my eyes because I can't remember any time not seeing them. Mm. You know, they were always there. And when when I was very tiny, at first I didn't know. Like, um, mm. but they told me as time went on, and I was to keep it a secret. And I always have to smile because I put it in the book. I I have written about my little brother who had died before I was born, mm. but I was seeing him. He was there. And that's actually how the angels explained more clearly to me. So why you know, is your brother an angel then? No, you have, there's a difference. Right. Everyone's always asking that question. Angels are creatures that God has made, let's mm. say. Um, we're souls. We're his children. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are part of God. That's what your soul is. That's what's in the image of God. So mm. no, you're not an angel. You're... I know the angels probably given out to me and they're kind of doing this <laughs> like, you know. Yes, we're more than angels. Mm -hmm. And I think that's wonderful. And I think that's what people are searching for. We, we mm. want to know that we have a purpose, you know, that, that we have a reason to live. The most important thing is for us to live our life, you know, and we're all very, very special. And God has given us these angels to help us. And what do they look like? Um, people ask that. I actually find it very hard to describe them, even though I have done it in, in the book. Like, Do they look you know, like the pictures we see of them? Um, no, not exactly. Mm. Um, in, in that way, I would say, I'd say no. An angel, your guardian angel is behind everyone here in the studio and even coming in. As I walk along a street, I see this beam of light behind every single human being. Mm. So can you see our angels colour. now? I see that beam of light, mm. okay? And it's only when that beam of light opens up would I see the guardian angel. I'm not always allowed to see everyone's guardian angel. Why is that? Um, because I'm human, it'd be too much. Okay. Yeah, it must be, I do is it distracting see? for you at times? Oh yes, it is distracting, like, yeah. you know, my eyes often wander off some, somewhere else, you know, in that, in that way. But what I do see all of the time is what I call the white angels mm. with everybody. And I was watching one of the white angels with yourself, you know, um, when you were over there. Really? You know, the white angel just appeared and I was allowed to see and to me that's, that's a privilege. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't think I was going to be because 
I was asking them, you know, would you allow me, you know, and I never got an answer. They don't always answer me, you know, the kind of, you know, that's trivial, go away, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, don't ask a silly thing like that. Um, but the angel was beautiful. And the only way I can describe angels are neither male nor female, but this white angel gave a fe female appearance. And I have to tell you, and I don't know why the angel done this, mm. you know, um, dressed in like what I would recognize as Celtic clothes, mm. but beautiful, like type of a green. Now the colors aren't exactly, but I would say green with a, a gold, you know, thing going here. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. And then, then, you know, the angel changed again you know, which mm -hmm. was unusual. It was, that's an unusual thing for them to do for me, you know, and changed again. And ha I c would find it very hard to describe what the angel did then. It would take too long. Okay. We'll have to have a chat after the show. Yes, so. we will. <laughs> yeah, I, no. I, I don't know if you've seen anything of me, but I certainly want to find out. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> what do angels do for you, though? Y you, you say there's a message that they have. How, what do they have to say? Well, one, one thing I would say to you is, um, as a child, I knew nothing else. They were m my best friends and companions and my teachers. They have taught me everything. Mm. You know, even how to read and write and, and how to communicate and all, all of that. And one day when, well, I, as a child at different times, you know, they said I would write. Mm. And then one time when I was way older and married with my husband and mm. all, and I think it was my daughter Pearl, or I should say Ruth, because we've changed the names. Yeah. Um, I was wheeling her, her home, and the angel that I call Michael mm -hmm. um, came up and pulled my hair, like you know, just messing, like you know, they they do that. So I'm all the time doing that kind of time. That's, that's why the book is called yeah. Angels yeah. in My Hair. Yeah. yeah, that's why it's called called that. Orna, you're off to the states very soon. I am. Unfortunately, we are running out yeah. of time. Tell us very yeah. quickly what you're hoping. Um, to do when you well, get over there. Uh, what I will tell you as quick as I can is God and the angels have told me it will be a worldwide bestseller. Mm. You know, and has told me I'll write more, but has told me as well what I will do. Um, and of course my human side was so shocked when I got contracts for you know, the states and all, all of that and all over the world in different languages. Like I believe in Germany, I only found out the other day, it's going to be published in German in March, mm. if I have the date right. Like mm. I'm shocked myself human, humanly, but I shouldn't be because I've already been told, but yet I'm not allowed to tell. Mm. Yeah, you know, all the messages you get, I'm you're not, not allowed I'm to not give allowed. them out just as no, you get them. No, no, okay. because Everyone has choices, and even when I went to to the states and we got the contract and all that, and with the director, you know, and I wouldn't sign or say yes because the angels had told me something. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to wait till he said um, a certain thing, and I had to say to him, "Well, I'll go with you on condition I get a certain." Um, editor. Mm -hmm. If not, I'm going back to the other crowd. <laughs> <laughs> the angels and teach you how to drive a hard bargain. <laughs> they did. They did. And he said, he said um, you know, are the angels ev ever wrong? Like, if you were yeah. asking for more money, that'd yeah. be easier because of what I asked. Yes. And I said, no. Mm. Like, well, you wrong. stick to your guns and their guns, obviously. <laughs> Lorna, thank you so You're much welcome. for coming thank to you. talk to us today. Yeah, and the best of luck with all your endeavours. You. The book is called Angels in My Hair. Thank you.